Hey, welcome back to Family of Love. I'm Esther. So I've heard a lot of relationship talks and they often come from a point of view of once you get into a relationship, this is how you should act and this is what you should not do and this is what you should do. And while those, co those talks are really great, they kind of miss something, I think. They miss the foundation. And without that foundation, really, it doesn't help too much. So today I want to talk about our foundation, which is what we do before we get into a relationship. So here we go. These five things really apply to girls and guys. And yes, that's a mixture of Spanish and Japanese because, you know, I'm a third culture kid, so I'm very confused. <laughs> Take time to get to know yourself and explore things that you think you might be interested in. Th try different things that you may or may not like um, just to see what you enjoy. This year I've gotten to start a YouTube channel, I started a blog, um, I'm making cards out of my photography, and I'm even making organic lip balm, and I'm hoping to start to make some deodorant too. So really taking time to try new things can be super worthwhile. Um, I'm also babysitting three to two to three times a week, um, as well as teaching English about three times a week. So it's just a really fun time to try different things and learn learn life skills that will really help me in pursuing my dreams. Numero ni. Have friends of the opposite gender. As a girl, I have two brothers and five guys who have lived in our house as interns in the past year. So I haven't been able to avoid having guy friends, but I think it's still really important because you learn things from the opposite gender that you can't necessarily learn from people of the same gender. You also, you learn how to relate to people in a different way, and it's it's just great to have friends of the opposite gender and not block them off because you're not into a relationship right now. Numero san. Have friends of the same gender. If you're a guy, there's some things that you can only do with your bros and girls. Come on. We we all know that we need each other sometimes. So we can't we can't neglect that. Numero yon. Set boundaries and f think of what you're looking for in a future spouse before you get into a relationship. If you don't know what you're looking for, then it could cause a lot of heartbreak when you're two years into a relationship, or three or four, or however long, and you realize, like, this is really not what I'm looking for. And it, setting boundaries before you get into a relationship can really save you from a lot of heartbreak, too. And numero go! Be truly content in who you are. If you don't think, if you're not comfortable in your own skin and really confident in your beliefs and your passions and what you want to do, you're not going to get that from someone else. Um, no one can fill that void. No one except for Jesus Christ. And, and frankly, if you're Christian or not, this applies to you because if you're not truly content, no relationship will satisfy you. None. Once you feel content with yourself and you really enjoy doing things on your own, it makes doing it with someone who you're really close to and love a thousand times better because not only are you doing something you love, but you're doing it with someone who you love. So there's my opinion on what we should be doing with our time before we get into a relationship. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped you somehow. And if you think anyone else could use some encouragement, please share. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next week. In the meantime, comment, like, and subscribe, and choose love and be happy.